Hello, I'm Lauren Hayes from Kelkai Media and welcome to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with David Breeze, Managing Director and CEO of BPH Energy. BPH Energy with ASX code BPH is a diversified company listed on the ASX with investments in biomedical technologies and resources. The company holds a 35.8% stake in Advent Energy, an unlisted oil and gas exploration company. BPH also has interests in clean hydrogen technologies and medical device neurotechnology company Cortical Dynamics. Thanks for joining us today, David. Thanks indeed for the opportunity to speak today. Now, firstly, for those investors not familiar with BPH, could you please start by providing an overview of the company? So BPH uh, has three key areas of investment. That is uh, in Advent Energy, in which itself has uh, a significant 85% uh, interest in PEP11 offshore uh, New South Wales. And in addition, it has a, uh, through both direct and indirect, it has just under a 20% interest in clean hydrogen technologies, which is a, a technology which is uh, developing a uh, technology to pr produce turquoise hydrogen, which is converting natural gas into uh, both hydrogen and carbon, or, and in this instance, it's a carbon nanotube uh, product. And uh, we also have an investment in um, cortical dynamics, and cortical dynamics, of course, uh, is involved in anesthesia technology to assist the anaesthetist to keep the patient optimally anaesthetized, but also to assist uh, analgesia. And uh, each of those technologies is looking to move into, or investments is looking to move into a uh, value inflection point in the uh, near term. Uh, so I'll go uh, just a moment to uh, the PEP11 project. If you look over my shoulder, you'll see the, the map of onshore and offshore uh, gas permit areas in East Coast Australia. And in fact, what you see is very few gas permit areas that are capable of meeting the requirements of the East Coast energy market. And in fact, the energy market in uh, the East Coast is in crisis mode. And if you look at what's occurred over the last couple of days or even the week in New South Wales, South Australia and Victoria, AEMO has had to intervene into the market to uh, ensure price stability or availability of uh, electricity and gas prices have gone as high as $14 a gigajoule in New South Wales uh, over this last weekend. As the cold weather has come in, we're really seeing the need for new sources of gas and of course when you look at uh, PEP11 offshore uh, New South Wales, then that becomes a potential key source of uh, gas for a future supply. And the government has just announced the uh, future gas strategy and stressed the need for new sources of gas going forward into 2030 and right throughout into 2050. Likewise, if you look at hydrogen, um, the need for hydrogen to assist in the clean energy transition becomes a key element of uh, future uh, energy changes as we move into the net zero transition. But the beauty of the uh, hydrocarbon uh, process that we have with clean hydrogen technologies is that it creates with no CO2 emissions, a product which is the carbon nanotubes, which is a composite of carbon nanotubes or carbon and alumina, which of itself has a very high value and 
uh, in uh, compounding into all sorts of areas like uh, space, batteries, and uh, paints and other polymers and uh, uh, manufacturing uses. So we actually have a, a wide range of products there contained within the investment areas of the companies that we're involved in. Now, BPH operates, like you said, across the resources and medical technology sectors. How do you navigate and balance investments across the different industries? Uh, in fact, it's uh, remarkably easy. Uh, it gives us a balance of risk, but also significant potential upside in each of those investment areas. Uh, the uh, clean hydrogen, for instance, if you look at, at what's occurring, it's now moving into from uh, scale up of uh, pilot production and into uh, a full scale production. And that's the next step, which we're currently raising capital for. And uh, the, of course, each of clean hydrogen and cortical dynamics is managed by an independent uh, CEO and uh, they of course manage all of the elements of the day-to-day -day management of those businesses and driving those companies forward to commercialization. Cortical, by the way, by way of expansion, has already got uh, approval for distribution of its product into the uh, American market through its FDA certification that it recently gained. It has uh, CE approval in Europe and uh, it has TGA approval in Australia. It also has approval for uh, distribution and sales into the uh, Korean marketplace. Now, it's currently moving into the uh, next gen or phase two of its product and it's looking to have those uh, that phase two of the device which is the screen the uh, hardware software and the sensors upgraded into the um, for acceptance of the new generation of product and that will enable cortical to move into a, a sales uh, place within the next uh, year we is our objective. And Advent Energy accepted the renewal of Retention Licence 1. What does this mean for BPH? Northern Territory is short gas. The area that we are uh, in is also short gas. We're only a around 90 kilometres from the Black Tip Pipeline and the black tip pipeline uh, through the shortfall in gas out of uh, the black tip field gives us an opportunity to supply into the entire Northern Territory uh, gas uh, requirement. In fact, the Northern Gas Pipeline was recently shut down as a result of a shortage of gas coming out of that area. Now, where we are in RL1, we are the only potential producer of gas into the uh, whole of the area around Kununurra so that we have the capacity to move the RL1 into production. And most importantly, the state and uh, federal governments have most recently extended the um, highway right past the uh, tenement area where we have uh, RL1 and that really enables us to move into full-scale commercialisation of that um, uh, retention lease. And what progress has clean hydrogen technologies made in its plans to commercialise its unique hydrogen production technology? It is already selling um, its uh, clean uh, carbon or carbon nanotube alumina product most importantly into the uh, marketplace for trial samples. 
and getting uh, very good results. We've most recently put an announcement out in relation to that on the uh, ASX through BPH. Uh, and of course, around the world, and that was best illustrated when Bill Gates came here to Australia and he met with both the Prime Minister and the Energy Minister, Mr Bowen, and he told both of them that in their uh, search for clean hydrogen, that they in fact should look very closely at turquoise hydrogen uh, because that was uh, an area where uh, Bill Gates through his companies had invested. So that illustrates the um, uh, potential value in one way, but in reality, the uh, size of the market is again illustrated by the uh, budgetary uh, enhancements which the federal, the Australian federal government has just put into place, but also the uh, budgetary enhancements that the uh, US uh, government has most recently introduced as well. And the company recently completed a placement. How will those funds be used? It will enable us to move through the next phase of the development of PEP 11 subject to the approval process for the extension and variation of the PEP 11 permit. Uh, and it's obviously funded us to assist that but also to work on the R01 area as we go through the necessary uh, regulatory enhancements there. But it will also assist us to uh, uh, fund cortical further through that next gen of uh, its technology into those marketplaces that I described earlier. And lastly, David, what can we expect to see from BPH going forward? The way in which I've just covered the uh, areas of development in, across clean hydrogen uh, and across uh, cortical dynamics and uh, the need for gas in the eastern states really show you the potential value uplift objectives that uh, we can have within each of those areas, which can in fact reflect significantly into the BPH uh, share value, and we're certainly working hard across each of those areas. It does sound very interesting indeed for BPH. Thank you for your time today, David. Thanks indeed. Thanks for the time. And that was David Breeze, Managing Director and CEO of BPH Energy. And if you missed any part of that chat, you can catch the full interview on our YouTube channel at Kalkine Media. So make sure to subscribe.